I have been listening to uh, the Embedded podcast today with uh, Jack from the Papilio uh, initiative. And I have uh, Papilio Pro in my possession. Uh, and I'm trying to learn the FPGA language, but it's not going as fast or as smooth as I hoped it would be. Uh, so, uh, inspired by Jack's talk on uh, the podcast, I'm going to try to check out a few projects that uh, uh, Hamster uh, New Zealand has posted on his website. Uh, first of all, I'm going to try uh, if I can make them work, and once I can make them work, uh, how to interpret the VHDL code that he's using to, uh, to do that. And because I happen to have an uh, SD card in my possession, uh, I'm going to uh, try his SD card testing project. Uh, he has put all the code there to make the SD card work. It's limited functionality, but that doesn't matter for my learning uh, exercise. So what I'll do is I will first wire these things up uh, as described on the website. Uh, I'll uh, download the code and put it on my uh, ISE uh, um, uh, editor, and then try to uh, then try to make this thing uh, run and try to understand it. I first tried to do that with uh, the logic sniffer code that was posted uh, on the Gadget Factory forum. Uh, but since it's uh, very long and I don't want to learn two language, uh, languages at the same time, I have put this one on park for a moment, try to get uh, VSDL uh, under my uh, skin, and once that's uh, done, I'll, I may move into trying to understand the logic sniffer code and the very long language. And I will do this with baby steps because that's the only way I will uh, be able to understand it. So I have my uh, Papilio Pro ready, this uh, SD card breakout board that I have uh, used uh, on other, uh, that I have used on uh, microcontrollers but never on FPGA. And I've already prepared my breadboard uh, using uh, this information here. So I've written down. Uh, from uh, left to right, what's here from right to left, the pin use, because I have to turn it upside down to put it on the breadboard. Which pins I'm using and which color of wire I will be using to uh, wire those pins. Then I'll follow the instructions on uh, Hamster's website on how to uh, wire up those pins between the uh, SD card and the FPGA, load the code, uh, synthesize it, uh, try it. Once it's working, I'm going to do the understanding cycle and extend what Hamster did. And the first issue that I'm running against at this moment is that Hamster is using a board with a card detect signal and my board doesn't support that, so I will most likely have to make changes in the VHDL before getting it to work, but we will find out while doing that. Okay, there we go. Uh, everything is uh, wired except for that uh, card select. I'm still uh, thinking about how I'm going to deal with that. I might connect uh, the fourth port here with either uh, ERT or positive to mimic that switch or change the code. Uh, but for the rest, I have adapted so that uh, uh, ship select is going to uh, port 1, uh, MOSI port 2, uh, the system clock to 0, and MISO to uh, 3. And then I'm powering it up from the 3.3 volt power supply and the ground of the Papilio. So I am ready now. I'm First going to do a heat test because these SD cards have the habit of becoming incredibly hot if you use the, the wrong program or the wrong code on there. My, my Papilio is just uh, programmed to be a logic analyzer so every port is input, nothing is get, going to get hurt. I'll plug it in, put my finger on here and wait for 5 seconds and if that doesn't burn I am good to go.
and that's happening now Papilio is turned on put my finger on here and as far as I can feel it's not getting hot at all I have been hit by that issue when trying to run it via my uh, TI launchpad not because the TI launchpad is bad but because I did wrong things in my code uh, everything is staying cool the power supply part the process the FPGA part so that's good no warnings there I will continue so now I have created a project in uh, the ISE editor uh, I'm going to uh, create a VSDL module uh, using the file name that hamster uh, gave in his website uh, and not going to do any of the preparation work just going to replace all of the code that is generated by the editor by the code that uh, hamster has put on his website so I'm copying all of this uh, going to the website and pasting it here I will now save and see if I can implement the top module so everything I'm doing at this moment is without brain just uh, trying out how it works um, letting the compiler uh, rip here should be much faster than in the past for me because I've purchased a new, comp a new computer only last week. Okay, the uh, whole run has uh, finished, I hope. So now I will uh, uh, generate the program file, which is the bit file. Uh, once I have that working, uh, I'll start my uh, uh, Papilio loader here. the bit file is still running loader is ready okay the file is created so I should now be able to select from uh, <laughs> where did I make it electronics Papilio SD card testing uh, here it is SD card bit I'm going to program to the FPGA directly run the thing mm -hmm -hmm. and that's done so I'm ready with the computer part now I'll have to read further on uh, hamsters website here on how to now check what's happening and of course nothing was working because I forgot to put the uh, constraint file in there uh, so I have copied the generic constraint file now from the uh, gadget factory website uh, made sure that the clock uh, definition and the five signals that I'm using are there so the system clock is uh, here uh, ship select uh, master out slave in master in slave out and card detect and earlier on I told that I was going to change the uh, VHDL code for to work with the uh, card detect but I've decided to make my own by just using a resistor and uh, a wire so that I can mimic uh, the card detect on my breadboard so I'm ready to go I have uh, uh, here that uh, card select mechanism resistor from plus 3.3 volt going directly to uh, D4 here and when I shortcut that by grounding that signal my uh, uh, FPGA board will think that the uh, card is inserted and hopefully show something on the scope so you have to believe me now I'm doing this in parallel while not looking at the video I am now uh, resetting that uh, card select and here we go so I call this a success story I have been able to record the clock signal here 
and I forgot whether this is the master in slave out or the other one I just forgot which ones I connected but you can see that I have a working example uh, I'm very happy